Hello again. Now I'm playing injured. Thanks to a young man in an Astra GTE I take overtaking four cars round a blind bend. Every now and then my neck seizes up, which ruins my golf swing. So perhaps now is a decent time. There you go, ruined golf swing. Now is about a decent time to talk about being an 18 handicapper and having a plan A and a plan B. So as an 18 handicapper you've probably parred every hole on the course. So that's our plan A. You may have even birded quite a few of them. But you're also making doubles and triples. So the idea is, is to play each hole as a plan A and if we make a bad swing and end up in a bad position then we switch to plan B. Plan B gets us our bogey. Good morning everyone. Well it's late afternoon here as it happens. I got an email from YouTube and it said if you want to increase your number of subscribers what you must do is ask people who watch your videos to subscribe. So please subscribe. Give us the thumbs up. Leave a sensible comment. Don't leave a boring horrible nasty comment it might disappear but leave us a, a good comment right the average golfer the 18 handicap the one stroke on every hole this is a very dangerous place to be because you can hit a nice straight drive over 200 yards possibly even up to 250 if you're a big strapping bloke you can also hit a five iron into the middle of a green and you can hold a 20 foot putt for a birdie. What you don't do is do this very often. So uh, if the hole's going well, then continue to play it well. If the hole's going badly, swallow the ego. Eagle, swallow the ego, get the ball back in play, get your bogey. Don't try those 1% shots that quite frankly not even I can do. Second hole. So putting it very simple, our plan is to hit the fairway. A bit like that. And if we hit the fairway then we continue with plan A. Plan A is try and hit the green. I just missed it. So now we're still on plan A because we can chip and putt for par from here. If I'd gone in that bunker, I wouldn't be able to get it close enough. So plan B would have been get it on the green and two putt for the bogey. So we try and avoid the double and the triple by playing sensibly when we're in the crap rather than trying that 1% shot that quite frankly the pros would probably shy away from. And of course as an 18 handicapper, as I said earlier, you've probably parred most of the holes on your course. I've been having trouble with this hole, so I'm trying a 3 wood. And there's that ugly swing, thanks to the injury. So plan A has gone right out the window. Now we're on plan B. Make a bogey. A times probably the longest club I can get out of that thick stuff. And as it's a north wind today, I got an A time for me third. And there's a typical bad shot into the bunker. As you can see it's GUR. My ball is stuck in the face so my nearest point of relief is over here. And with a horrible pitch like that sometimes no matter how hard you try plan B goes out the window and we do get that double.
well I'm really struggling so I am a bit like an 18 handicapper today and even though that was fairly decent I'm afraid it's still going to be a bogey but now we get two holes which are downwind let's see if we can get onto planet Well, I can't do a lot with this, and I certainly don't want to go into the bunkers. So we take something that isn't going to reach. Then we knock it on, and we forget to hit record for the birdie, which was about two feet away. Downwind again, plan A, hit the fairway. Plan A, hit the green. Plan A, make your par. Yeah, that, that was a pill, Simon. So, concentrate on it, sweat it out. Complete plan A. Sometimes as an 18 handicapper, plan A might be a bogey. We've got a par 5 into the wind. We've got water that we most definitely can't get over into the wind. I think I might have gone too safe there, but at least we can hit a 5-iron. Now for a high fade. Um, no, that's a low skanky one. With 44 yards, the chances of getting up and down are slim. So plan B is make a bogey. And that's how we get round the golf course. Trying to avoid the doubles and the triples by doing something stupid. When something goes wrong, we simply switch to plan B, which is get it back into play and make that bogey net par. Now I'm not actually putting up the running score and the reason for that is is because I'm a 5 handicap so even though I'm swinging poorly my short game is such that I'm going to do better at the green well that's the front nine done and before you think any of those bad shots are fake they're not I can't begin to tell you how much pain I'm in or on how much this alters my turn, alters the swing path, which alters the face to the swing path. Yeah, all this rubbish is genuine. Right, so it's a good job we finished off that par, because number 10 is into the north wind. It's hard enough when it's downwind. Oh boy. Well, number 10 is a bogey on the best of days, even for me. But into the wind is most definitely a bogey. And if we're going to stay away from those deep bunkers, plan A is going to be a safe bogey. And of course, if you're an 18 handicap, a safe bogey is a good hole. You know, the day that they make a safe bogey on a shot hole being a bad score is the day I will quit golf. Well, plan A is obviously to hit this green, but because it is an incredibly difficult shot, and we all get a shot on it, because I think it's stroke two, 
then it's very easy to switch to plan B. And plan B is a safe bogey. That means chipping up under the hole and doing the best we can with the putt on a difficult green. So plan B executed. That is a horrible skanky drive. Plan A of making par has gone because we're too far away we can't even see the flag so we're on to plan B plan B hit a safe shot that's a safe shot chip it on <laughs> did a bit better there than I was expecting Damn it, we almost got back on to plan A. Another safe bogey net par. Plan A, put it on the green. North wind pushes the ball off the green. But we don't always give up. You don't always switch immediately to plan B. When you've got a short chip, even out of the rough, there's always a chance. And even though our putting hasn't been shining, occasionally we get one. Plan A, hit the fairway. Not very far up there, but then we don't want to take too many risks. Hit the fairway again. That was a bit of a fail. Now we're only got 118. Hit the green. Oh, well, perhaps not hit the green. Bunker was G U R, so I get to drop back. Pop it on the green. We're most definitely in Plan B, which is get a net par. Well, from the tee box, it looked like it was about that far away. Turned out it was three and a half feet. Still, we got it. Right, number 17, a short par four. Most courses have a short par four, and you can pull out one of these wooden things and have a bash at it. But with this one, with all the outer bounds and all the other trouble on the hole, it's not really worth it until you're good enough. And if you're an 18 handicap, probably aren't good enough. In fact, the more times you put a wood in your hand, the more times you're going to make double, triple, five off the tee, whatever. I think with all this wind about, I'm just going to hit, hit a little safe iron and a little safe wedge, if I can hit it more than 80 yards. Two putt, net birdie for you 18 handicappers, but then we go to 18. Now on 18, I want to do the same as I did on 15. Swing slow, try and keep that ball flight down a bit. Hopefully hit it a little bit squarer, get it down the middle rather than down the right. <sighs> do you know what, it's the middle of May. 
and I am frozen. Even the sun just peeped over the top of the hill there. I'm absolutely frozen. It's no wonder my back isn't working properly. Ta-ra! So the first half of the equation is done. We are very firmly on plan A. Make a par. Well, that's another one of those 80 yard wedges and with the best will in the world you don't always get it right well we're almost done and one point I want to make before I go if you're knocking it round with your high handicap mates all the time chances of you getting better are rather slim. You do need to play with better golfers. You do need to pick up their habits. God, I'm out of breath coming up this bloody hill. Best thing I can do is to give you the feel of playing with a better golfer through this. Ta-ra! It's all downhill now. Thank goodness. So, plan A, plan B. Plan A! Make that par that you've made a number of times on the hole. When it goes wrong, switch to plan B. Plan B is get it back in play. Don't do anything stupid. Make your bogey. Net par. 30 seconds by Howard and the Germans are going down and they can hardly get up. It's all over, I think. No, it's And here comes Hurst, he's got some fiddler on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now, it's four. And Charlton 